At one point, fans knocked over a barricade and began running towards the stadium hoping to not miss Swift as she took the stage for her first time in Portugal. For 24 hours, Mattes and a handful of others waited outside of the stadium watching the 60,000-plus fans exit. Trains moved slower than snails. Lisbon. After seeing the panic and frustration emerge Friday night at the Taylor Swift concert, Laura Maddais lined up with her boyfriend Joao Almeida to camp out for Saturday night's show. We saw the big lines, Maddais says from spot 7 in the general admission line. Paramore had just begun their Friday night set, and the two could hear Haley Williams sing. That's what you get, pour out of the open roof of Estadio de Luz as they sat against a concrete wall. I've never seen so many people. Poor communication by staff on entry gates and bottleneck lines delayed Friday night's show about an hour. At one point, fans knocked over a barricade and began running towards the stadium hoping to not miss Swift as she took the stage for her first time in Portugal. For 24 hours, Maddais and a handful of others waited outside of the stadium watching the 60,000-plus fans exit. Trains moved slower than snails. Some fans walked away from the stadium to grab an Uber or cab back to their hotels. The low cooled to 57 degrees overnight. Maddais had her boyfriend to pass the time and make sure she was safe. He's not even going to the show. I brought a power bank, snacks, cereal, and a book, the 22-year-old says. We can watch some movies. She paid 227 euros for her floor ticket, $246.